Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner, and on Thursday we're talking about a new virtualization vulnerability called Venom. Venom is something discovered by CrowdStrike, and it's a vulnerability in QMU, which is a virtualization platform used to create virtual environments, and uh, it's used by Zen and KVM and other platforms out there. And whether or not you love or hate these marketing vulnerability names, Venom does stand for something, Virtualized Environment Neglected Operations Manipulation. And all that silly, uh, name means is CrowdStrike found a vulnerability in the virtual floppy disk controller that comes with QMU. And you heard me right, I said floppy disk controller. Uh, even though we don't use floppy disks anymore and you probably don't have any virtual machine where you've enabled a floppy disk, uh, there is a virtual floppy disk controller because QMU is quite a, a old, uh, long-standing product. Uh, but anyways, there's a flaw in the code for this virtual floppy disk. And even if you disable this virtual floppy disk, according to the alert, you can still leverage this vulnerability. Now essentially it's the elevation of privilege vulnerability that can escape the confines of your virtual machine. So if I'm a bad guy and I have access to one of the virtual machines running on your host and I have administrative or root access, I can leverage this flaw to actually execute code on the host itself, which means I have access to all the virtual machines and even the host itself. It's a pretty severe uh, virtualization flaw, but not one we haven't seen in uh, other products before. So how do you fix this? Well, there are patches is available. There's a QMU patch, there's ones for Red Hat, KVM, and many of the platforms that use QMU. Go get it. Another thing you can do is limit privileges on your virtual guest operating systems. If you're uh, running a virtual environment where you don't need to give your guest users uh, administrative or root access, they won't be able to exploit this particular flaw. Anyways, if you want more details, check out the link in my post. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching.